Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to episode 7 of my Logic Pro 10 video tutorial series. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to import and export audio files, as well as how to export all of the tracks in your session. So I have a multi-track session pulled up here, and as you can see in the top, there are two empty tracks. There's Guitar L and Guitar R. Uh, these are essentially just a left and a right guitar that have been doubled and are playing the same thing. So for both of these tracks, the guitar has already been recorded, we just haven't uh, imported them into the session yet because we used a different program to record them. So the way we're going, going to import these files is you can go up to File and then go down to Import and then go to Audio File. You can also use the key command Shift-Command-I to import audio files. So let's click on Audio File, it opens up a dialog and we're going to go to the desktop and I have two files here, Guitar 1 and Guitar 2. So let's import Guitar 1 and at the bottom of the screen you can see some different information that's displayed about the file. So you can see what type of file it is, we can see it's sample rate 96,000, the bit depth, 24-bit uh, stereo, and then also the length of the file. So after we import the file, Logic will automatically convert the sample rate of the file to match that of our session. Uh, right now, this session has a sample rate of 48,000, so we're down converting it from 96,000 down to 48,000. I should also note that if you open up a brand new session and import a file, Logic will actually ask you what you want to do. Rather, uh, do you want to convert the session or do you want to convert the file? And we'll actually see that option in just a moment. The other way to import audio into Logic is to simply drag and drop files directly from your desktop or a finder window into your session. So here's our Guitar 2 file. Let's just drag and drop it directly into our project. Now we get this dialog that says uh, change project sample rate to 96 kilohertz. It's asking us do we want to change the project to 96 to match that of the file or do we want to convert the file over to match our project sample rate. I'd recommend converting the file because that's going to make this one file match everything else in our session. The only time I'd recommend converting the project is if you're just starting a brand new project and this is the first file that you've imported into your project. If you do choose change project, Logic doesn't actually convert all of the files in the project to the new sample rate, so you'll end up with playback speed issues. All right, let's play the session, make sure everything turned out okay, and I will solo the two guitar parts just so we can double check on them. Alright, so those turn out just fine. The next thing I want to go over is how to export audio. The two main ways you can export audio on a track is you can export the entire track, uh, so all of the regions on a track, or you can export an individual region on a track. Now I realize we haven't talked about the edit tools yet, but I'm going to use the scissors tool to separate this region into four separate regions. And so you can click on each one to select each individually. So what we have to decide is do we want to select this entire track and export it, or do we want to select a region and export just that region? So what we're going to do first is select the entire track just by clicking on the track header here, and then go up to File and go down to Export, and then choose Track as Audio File. Now there's also All Tracks as Audio Files, we'll come back to that in just a moment, but we wanna choose Track as Audio File, and you can use the Command E key command for this as well. Now we're not gonna use that right now because what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to select just one of the regions here, and I'm just gonna export just that one region. So the way you do this from here is right click, go down to Export, and then go to Export as Audio File. Now when you choose export as audio file, you'll actually get the exact same window that you'd get if you went the other way we just talked about. So uh, that's why I jumped ahead to this instead. So you can choose the save format. This is basically the file format. So you can choose WAV, AIFF, or CAF. You can choose your bit depth up to 32-bit float. So we'll just stick with 24-bit. 
You can choose to bypass your effects plugins. So when this is on, it bypasses any inserts that you have on the track. When it's off, it actually includes those inserts that are on the track. So in this recording, I want to include the amped sounds on the track, so I'm going to make sure that bypass is off. The next option is include audio tail. When this is on, it makes sure to include any effects produced from time-based plugins like delays and reverbs where the audio signal might actually last longer than the waveform itself. And then there's also the include volume pan and automation option. And what this does is it makes sure to include any volume or pan automation that you've drawn in on the track. And lastly, there's the normalize function. And there's actually three different options for this. Uh, there's overload protection only, off, and on. So when this is on, it actually normalizes the file. And the way it does that is it searches the file for the peak amplitude and pushes that amplitude up to 0 dB, essentially making it as loud as possible. Overload protection is essentially just adding a limiter to it to keep it from clipping, and off uh, just leaves the track as is. So what we're seeing now is Logic exporting that one region as a new audio file. The last function I want to show you in this video today is how to export all of your tracks as stems. This is a really important function because it allows you to take a project in Logic and export it all out as individual audio files. Each track becomes its own audio file. And then we can import these stems into another DAW, like Pro Tools or Ableton Live. So if you prefer mixing in another platform other than Logic, this can be a really helpful tool for you. So the way you do this is you go up to File, Export, and then go down to All Tracks as Audio Files. And you can use the key command Shift-Command-E to do this as well. So after we select that, we'll get a similar dialog that we saw before, except this time it'll tell us that we are bouncing a certain number of tracks, in my case 26. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder to put these stems in, and I'm just going to type in uh, Mind Games uh, Stems, because the song's called Mind Games. And then once we create a new folder, uh, we can choose all the different uh, options that we saw before if we want to, and then I'll just hit Save and it will render each track to a different audio file. So this export will probably take a few minutes because I have a lot of instruments and a lot of plugins. So I'll just do this off screen. All right, we're back and the uh, export's just about done. Uh, so we should be able to, in just a few moments here, we should be able to check on all of our exported files. So it looks like we're completely done now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize my logic uh, window, go out to the folder that I created, Mind Game Stems, and in that folder we should find all of the files that we just exported. Now you'll notice that all the file names have BIP attached to the end of them. That just means bounce in place is all it means. So we've got all of our files here so that we can drag them and drop them into a new session, like a Pro Tools session, Ableton Live, or like a Cubase session. So if you're not a fan of using Logic for mixing, you can import these files into another DAW of your choice. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at how to create your own loops in Logic and import loops into Logic's loop library. After the next episode, we'll be focusing in on uh, editing techniques and the edit tools in Logic. And so that's where we'll be spending most of our time in uh, the upcoming videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks again for watching.